Hey guys, True Grit Scott, here at the wood pile, as usual. It's a beautiful December day. I think today's December 6th, day after my youngest boy's birthday, and uh, just bringing some wood up to the house. I got this wood pile, I got a bunch of wood piles. Anyhow, I did a video, I don't know, a couple years ago when I made this pickaroon that I got in my hand. And it wasn't a great video. I uploaded it to YouTube. The video cut out. It was just pretty horrible. Anyhow, I made this crow's beak picaroon probably, I'll say, two years ago now. And it served me well. And it's pretty darn cool. I don't know if you could see, but he looks like a crow. Anyhow, for getting wood, it's a tool that I love because it saves me from bending over. Hey, June. So I forged it out of a, trying to think of what it was. It was something high carbon steel and I can't remember what. It wasn't a leaf spring, something else. Might have been an old chisel or something like that. So it'd be a medium carbon steel. Well, can't get this one. Anyhow, I don't know. I thought it'd be nice just to show you some of the tools we use and how handy it is and it's funny this is even better when these are snow covered and it's all nasty but you could also kind of throw stuff like that I know I'm grabbing every piece but you could kind of do a flick and release if you want you probably get better at it than I am uh -oh, that's just I'd like to make another one with a little bit of a longer handle. I'd like to make a couple more because I think the kids like them too. Not that they're doing wood quite as much as I am. But, you know, when you got a bunch of people throwing wood somewhere, it's kind of nice to have. Oh, you're a heavy sucker. Yikes. Anyhow, just figured I'd show you this picaroon. How much kind of effort it saves me. This is my first time really using it this year. So I'm a little rusty with my aim and grabbing stuff. But sure beats bending over every time. I don't know if anybody would be interested in a video like this. I just thought you guys would like to see it. Funny thing is, is, some of the wood's so soft, if you hit it too hard, you get your nose stuck in there real good. And if it's a hard piece of wood, <laughs> you wind up bouncing off and losing your piece. Like, that sucker was kind of soft and wet. Jeez, I saw the water squirting out of that one. Anyhow, I hope you guys got to see this on video. I'll do another close-up if I can. Maybe I'd come behind the camera and do it. Probably won't work. There he is. Oh, I guess you can see it. There's my little pick around. Anyhow, True Grit Scott, Bulletproof Saws. Thanks for watching.